Good day, Counts is me, Faith and Limnus, and I got a fever. And the only care is to shit on a little girl's cartoon show to make myself feel better. So I'm back in the game with that Dr. Wolf swag, no homo, no pedo, doing a review of the last episode. And I'll tell you right up front, it was, uh, it, it, it was okay. I mean, it was still horrible, but I expect the show to be horrible. I expect it to be shit, so I'm kind of used to it. I'm numbed. Anyways, enough stalling. Let's get right into the cancer. Everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Just type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. So it's an Applejack episode. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, come on, Applejack isn't that bad. I mean, it's better than a Spike episode, right? And even though she gets called a background character, she's technically had more focusing episodes than a lot of the main six. Of course, everything I just said is relevant because this episode is under shit, so... I mean, if you if you paid to see this episode, I, I demand your money back, but we all know you guys trap out the bandwidth. None of you pay for shit anymore. Half of you are probably blocking ads on this video. To you, fuck you. But hey, let's just go over the main events. Applejack the Farm Pony is being pestered by the talking marshmallow rarity into going into the spa. Why she goes to the spa is never addressed. I mean, am I the only one that thinks this is horribly out of character for Applejack? We've never seen her actually take an interest in this type of pampering, and sure, I get it. Every now and again, you want to be pampered. You want to have your slaves, you know, massage your feet or something, and you know, you want all the cis white male scum to, to pay their pittance to you. But for Applejack to turn into such a diva, to one, have a schedule with Rarity where they're supposed to routinely go, but two, when they get there, to be so uptight that she will not do any other activity before she gets her steam. And honestly, Applejack, steam's not all that great. Come on, Battle.net's just as good and so is Xbox Live. Just kidding, kill yourself. Anyways, Apple Horse doesn't want to deal with any of Rarity's bullshit. Something about being too busy on the farm, which as a side note, and get used to this because I obviously do this a lot, Twilight could literally do her job easily. We've seen her harvest entire sections of the orchard at once. So uh, I just have a question. Why the hell do Earth Ponies exist? My Fiora, Fiora. Excuse me, Fiora. Zig Heil sleep Nazi. Anyway, with enough prodding, Book Horse finally convinces Applejack to let her take over the farm and her chore of feeding the the pigs, which apparently gives her an hour of free time. I mean, that would buy her an hour of time. Why not just do it yourself? Even with her crazy ritual, it took you like 30 seconds. Like, how the hell did this buy you an hour to begin with? And if you did the ritual there, they would have all known that you were fucking crazy and would have taken measures to correct your problems right there and then. Of course, that wouldn't happen because the runtime of the show would have been like five minutes. And how are they going to shoehorn in all those ads that they need to get their money? So after they allow Twilight to take over her chores at the farm, and I guess they all subsequently forget Spike at your service where Spike was an incompetent shithead, they're on their way to the Palace of Pampering, and surprise, surprise, the Spa MacGuffin is on the fritz. And because we already established with Rarity, ponies don't know how to run a business, no one there decides to check their pressure gauges to figure out why the steam is taking so fucking long to build up. I mean, honestly, there's a gauge right there, you can see. That was where the leaks were happening, like, the I just don't understand. What is with these ponies? I mean, I know I've said it before, but God, ponies are dumb. Like, really, really dumb. So Applejack, being the handy mare that she is, decides to go tool time and fix everything. <sighs> now that that leak's fixed, ponies won't get so cold they use up all those towels. You really needed all those tools just to, uh, to tape it? All right. But then we learn while she could figure out the problem and fix it for a spa, a field she has no roots in, the farm in which she grew up on and has been running for years, she doesn't know how to actually do anything on it. 
I mean, Chica was full retard. Applejack has been portrayed as a no-nonsense kind of character, someone down-to-earth and practical. What in this Celestia Forsaken episode even remotely shows that? I mean, I get it. Rainbow Dash was a joke. I can understand that. Cool, whatever. Rainbow Dash always dresses in style. But Rarity upset at Applejack for fixing the problem at the spa? And while she's being pampered? You're the element of generosity. Surely you understand why she helped. And Twilight didn't see Applejack Applejack's list is unnecessary for whatever reason until she sees Applejack herself doing it despite being at the last stage of said list anyway? And what was the moral here? If your friends say that they're busy, it's because they're either a high-functioning autist or they have severe OCD? I guess this is just trying to say that uh, you should always have a QA department, something I'm guessing DHX doesn't have, and constantly look for ways to improve your routine, to not be stuck in your ways and adverse to change that you hurt your own productivity? But that could have been done in a much easier and much more realistic way. All this does is completely shatter Applejack's character. Now, if we look back at all the times she says she's busy and that she's like working on the farm and that she doesn't have time to do this, or that, we know it's because her OCD is so strong that she just doesn't realize that she could turn all the valves at once. This episode, wow. I mean, I think Bumble Thighs is a smarter character at this point than her. But hey, that's enough bitching about ponies. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. How did you guys feel about Applejack's horribly out of character and just everything. Also guys, I started a new channel called Malumina Speaks. It's gonna be pretty much like an entire hub of all the episodes. It's gonna be slightly reaction-y. Uh, it's gonna be the minimum um, minimum amount of reactions that I have to do and able to keep those episode uploads up. But I'll also be doing other different topics and stuff like that, you know. Uh, topics that I don't want to put on this channel here. Anyways, I need to get it to like at least 70 subs just because for whatever reason my own network has this weird thing in the CMS where we can't partner certain channels we grow like 70 subs really quickly on this channel like I think like every hour or something so if some of you guys who are already subscribed and watching could go subscribe to that one that would be great because we did get a strike in the luminous theater uh, we we're limited down to 15 minutes so it's back to being just a clip uh, hub no more streams on that channel for six months we'll be streaming on the luminous theater too I suppose but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. As always, Faith Thermal Luminous. Peace and love out, guys.